What is up, y'all? This video uh, is for me to explain to you how to go through Caesars this week. I know you guys probably don't want to do Caesars. I get it. But we all know how to do it. We know it's expected of us, and it's something we can do over the next few weeks to make sure we're still practicing um, and being up to date on our vocab, okay? Um, that's why I'm doing it. It's easy for you guys to do. You know how to do it. I'm going to go over this week's with us. Um, and then you guys can go ahead and get started. So if you see our five words this week are melancholy, visage, venerate, abate, and repose. So as you scroll through the first couple pages, you'll see the fill in the blanks. That's where we put the meaning for our next word, right? So um, for melancholy, we would put in uh, sadness, right? Every single time there's one of those parentheses. Um, visage would do the same thing, venerate, right? Make sure we're leaving our comments on our readings. If we're not doing that, we lose five easy points, right? This is still worth 20 points. Um, if you scroll down, you'll see where it says Caesar's synonyms, tasks two and three. So it says here are the words that are similar to the words in our list, but are they exactly the same in meaning or are they slightly different? For each word on our list, look up any synonym that you do not know, then pick one and carefully explain the difference between it and our word. So what you'll do on that is you'll hit enter, give yourself some space, um, and then underneath it, you'll be able to type in melancholy, and then let's say we picked um, unhappiness, right? Well, so we'll find out what melancholy means, and we know from up top melancholy means sadness, right? And then unhappiness, uh, we'll find the definition of that, so obviously it means you're not happy. Um, but then we're going to compare them. Are they exactly the same, or do they mean something different? If I'm thinking about that one, you guys can go ahead and type this. I would type something like, melancholy means sadness. Unhappiness doesn't always mean sadness. You can be angry and be upset and unhappy, so they're slightly different. Okay, and then I would type that out. Move on to visage, do the same thing for each one of those words, okay? When we scroll down to antonyms, it says task three. For each one of the words, think of a word that means the opposite. A word that means the opposite is known as an antonym, we know that. You can use a thesaurus, however, you can also use reasoning to help you figure out an antonym. So, if I'm using reasoning, that just means I'm using my brain, right? Melancholy means sadness. What's the opposite of sadness? If you thought of happiness, good job. So you would type in happiness, and we would be able to type out what, uh, or that's all we have to do. We just have to find the antonym for that one, okay? Um, and then when we scroll down, it says, are there any words in this list that have no antonyms, or are there any that were difficult to think of an antonym for, and why? So don't just put all five words on there and be like, I can't think of any of them because that was hard, right? Don't do that, okay? If you can't think of one on your own, Google it. If you have a hard time finding it on Google, then you can tell me, like, there was a hard time finding this because maybe it's a description word or something like that, okay? Think hard on it. Do your best. We are going to have a quiz on Friday over all the words that we've used so far this year like we always have been. So look at the bottom. There's the list of all the words. Go through, read them all, challenge yourself, push yourself, okay? Make sure we're ready for that quiz on Friday. And yeah, that's all I have for this. If you have questions about this, you can email me uh, and I'll be happy to answer those questions for you.